Guys, what is up? I currently have a Hot Round Master Bunch ebook that helped me get to the final four of the Madden Bowl up for sale now. It dropped about two weeks ago and so far has really good viewership and really good praise. Go check it out. The link will be in the bio. Let me know what you guys think, think and feel free to ask any and all types of questions. Thank you very much. Yo, what is up everybody? Welcome back to another edition, another episode of Tip Tuesday. And in this episode, I'm going to be breaking down the best run defense in the game. And that run defense, if you don't know by now, it's the 335 wide. So, you know, I'm about to get into practice mode. I have two my two controllers right here. And here's just the playbooks I'm running. I'm gonna be running the Miami defense. Obviously, don't mind the West Coast offense. I'm not gonna be on offense. And for the Niners, obviously, we all know Matt Breida, Tevin Coleman, uh, Moster, those guys are the craziest, you know, running team of all time, in my opinion. We're, they're going to be in the Oakland playbook. So let's just jump straight into it. Okay, guys. So for the personnel, what you guys want is, is obviously the fastest user you can have. I'm using the Packers for no particular reason. Um, I have Amos. And one thing worth noting is I do have Kenny Clark. He has inside stuff. Um, to be fair, I never really experimented with it. Um, some runs it messes up, some runs it definitely helps out. I mean, if it's whatever you want. I know I don't use inside stuff in any other game modes, Mutt, SC. I, I just go out there and shoot the gaps myself. But for the sake of it, I don't want it to mess up, so I'm just gonna insert someone else. So here's the uh, personnel. Obviously the fastest guys you can have out there, the best guys you can have out there. And with a simple, Okay, first things first, I forgot to mention this. Come out and cover two. You know, you could come out with something else and I'll show you. But the main, this is run D2, guys. I know spying your safety is may be difficult, but you're not gonna give up any runs if you do this setup. Spy both safeties, press, crash down your D-line, blitz all your linebackers, contain them, and if it's a stretch, eye close stretch, or any stretch in particular, you kind of want to sit right outside this this uh, this DN's hip to this the right side. You know, obviously it's flipped. I'm gonna be flipping it after this play. It'll be the next, uh, other side. I'm just gonna call hike right now. I do have two controllers, so let's see how this goes. And you'll see this somewhat of a short gap you can shoot right here. Um, and of course, the first time I ran it, it kind of did get blocked, but there was support on that outside. Um, let me get right into it again. Same setup. This time I'm actually gonna pinch my linebackers. You could do that if your guys start getting glitched around. And I, I hope this time it allows us to shoot in free. I'm gonna call hike. And there it is, you get to shoot in free. You're gonna definitely have to practice with this in practice mode, but I'll show you guys this replay real quick. And this is basically any stretch in the book. And you know, there's two ways to play stretch defense in this game. You could either contain it or you could go get them. If they run stretch, minus four, minus three yards, that's just gonna help you out in second or even third down. Uh, let's just flip this stretch right now. Same setup, spy your boats, both your safeties, get your user in a spot right around the edge of the, uh, the D lineman's hip. And you basically wanna shoot this gap right here between the left tackle and the left guard. And it goes same for this side too, if you know they were to run stretch to the right. But you know, this the left side is more strong for the run. So basically we're just gonna be able to shoot in right here. And there it is. And it's really, really nice. You definitely gotta practice this. And it's not gonna be the best results you get um, the first few times. But trust me, the more you do this, the more the better you'll get. And it's just it's just a good habit to have, which is shooting gaps. So I'm gonna run it one last time and then we're gonna move on to the next play. So um, press, pinch your D, crash your D-line down, blitz all linebackers, contain, spy both safeties. As easy as that. And once again, this is not pass D, this is primarily run D, so you're gonna have to mix in your adjustments. And right there, I did get picked up again, but you know, we do have someone right there. And I think it's because it's in practice mode and we're getting picked up, because this hardly ever happens. Um, I'm gonna just do it one more time. And then you just come in free like that, boom. Okay, so the next run we're gonna be calling is this halfback ISO, AKA the halfback dive out of the eye close and pretty much any form. And you wanna do the same exact thing, press your guys, pinch your, crash your D-line down, don't pinch them, crash them down, blitz all linebackers, contain, spy both safeties. And this is just phenomenal run deep, man. They're not gonna be able to bounce this out anywhere. And if you even want, you can move them kind of laterally so they take better angles. Um, but just watch this, man. There's nowhere to go. I mean, he kind of had something, but I messed up my user. And it has been a little while since I played the run, so, you know, my user isn't the best. 
but I kind of just ran at it and just fell on the ground. You know, I really did had the worst user you could possibly have. But I'm going to just, just try to shoot this gap or just kind of versus dives. It's a little harder to shoot the gap, but you definitely could plug it up really nice. So I'm going to audible to this ISO real quick and then just call hike. And there it is. I was able to shoot the gap, but I occupied the fullback. If you have them out my way, you're able to just take that fullback out of the picture. And you could even get in there and make that tackle yourself. And I definitely have clips of myself doing that, which I will show you. Um, but yeah, you just want to kind of stand on the right side, the strong side. And obviously, if they run dive to the opposite side of their hand, like let's just say they run it left. Look how bad this play is now. Everyone is just there. Um, I mean, it's a slow handoff. It's just so noticeable. They're not going to do that. They're going to want to run to their, their dives to the strong side of their uh, quarterback's hand. And, you know, this goes for pretty much every formation. I'm going to break down a couple more popular run forms. But um, once again, that was stretch. And look, we were still ready for it. I was, I was expecting dive, but we were still ready for the stretch, man. So this, this run D is phenomenal. One more time for this ISO out of eye close. And then we're going to move on to the next set of plays and formations. And boom. Just, you're just able to get in there. And if I, my dude doesn't even have out my way. And I'm able to just shed Kyle Juszczyk, who's a really good fullback catch you in the next split this weak flex close is one of the most more popular formations they like to come out in and run um, for this shift your line to the wide receiver side and this is gonna be quick I'm just gonna break this down real quick this dive is not going anywhere um, it's just you could blow it up I was kind of hesitant with my user um, if you shift your D line to that side crash up actually when you do shift so any stretches or uh, plays you do shift, you want to crash up. Obviously, spy both your safeties, and watch how I just shoot in right here. You just you're able to shoot in and make that tackle yourself. And you know if, if enforcer was better, you're able to get you're gonna be able to get a fumble. But it's just not like how it used to be, uh, for whatever reason. But um, once again, just come in, shoot in free. Just kind of just hover in, and that's kind of the similar setup to the user rush. I have actually have sub tips um, when someone is under center passing is kind of similar to that. If you want those sub tips, sub to my Twitch, twitch.tv backslash Pavin Lacotte. The best sub tips on Twitch, um, at least for Madden. So, you know, go show your boy some love. But, you know, look, this this dive is not going anywhere. You guys may be wondering, hey, Pavin, how did the, how do these runs do versus lookies? And let me tell you, it, it actually works. The lookies are way worse than the actual stretches themselves. Just watch what happens on this play. Oh, of course, I jinxed myself. Um, I'm t I don't know why, but the first play of every run, they actually get some yardage. But for the most part, spy both your safeties. Same setup as always. I'm going to write the setup in the description as well. And you're going to want to shoot the same gap. And boom. If you're able to shoot that gap, you can even grab the uh, quarterback sometimes. Just move these guys out a little bit wide, you know, so they can make up more ground, make up more space. And I'm telling you, this looky, you could just shoot it from any direction. Right there, I kind of got hung up, kind of got stuck. There is a specific gap, and I did shoot it the last play, not the, that previous play, but the play before that. And you want to practice this, because these lookies definitely are a little a little sensitive to that so right there i was able to get in there again but i, I think the cpu is uh, adjusting they sometimes do that try it one more time just to get get that gap but you can see the run d is right there man they're not going anywhere um right there here they are going somewhere but i don't know why what it, it may be i'm gonna try a couple things obviously um and obviously if worse comes to worse just shift your d line to there um and you know just We'll, we'll, we'll sh I'll show you how this run is when you just shift. Look, that's actually what I wanted to show you as well. Um, on these lookies, they're considered a pass, and they get a, a crazy animation sometimes. Look at uh, number 94, just come in, shoot him free, and that's him. You could definitely shoot this gap. It just actually, honestly, is a little tough because the, the, the space to shoot is a little, you know, short. Now that I think about it, you can't really shoot it as well. As stretch I was just I don't know I guess I was capping but not, don't worry nonetheless you could still bag this run every time I was just getting my runs confused and mixed up and if you just shift to that side you're gonna have the numbers you're gonna be all right nothing's really gonna happen so you shift you crash up always when you shift you want to crash up obviously spy these guys so here's a play art and 
and boom, you're just you're shooting in free, you're coming in free, and I'm I'm I'm, tr I'm gonna try one more time um, to shoot this gap. I don't know why I wasn't able to shoot it. I promise you, you definitely can. But obviously, if you can't, don't even bother. And there it is. There's a gap you want to shoot. Um, I at that last time I pinched my linebackers and I was able to shoot it to perfection. But you know, I'll try one more time to see if that was actually fluke or if that actually works and it's actually worked so if you want to shoot that strong strong wing uh looky uh stretch just just pinch your linebackers with the following setup you know with everything i already noted you just want to pinch your linebackers and for the most part you'll be able to get in there um it does have a little bit of success if they are gashing you just shift your d-line just like this and crash up alongside with the spies in the contain and See, you just, you got the numbers. You're gonna make that tackle every time. Next is a strong tight dive. Um, the stretch in here, you could blow it up pretty easily and I could show you that real quick. But for the most part, this strong tight dive, I just wanna show you kind of where to shoot and what to do. And just notice, you're just able to just occupy the fullback. And once you do that, you have two guys coming in free. I'm gonna try shooting this gap and seeing what I could do. But for the most part, you know, there's no gap to shoot on these dives. And I'm telling you, man, these, this by the safeties is really the move. And there it is. If you want for dives, um, just if you are having trouble just with the stock uh, pinch D line, always spread it to the strong side and just shoot in free. And that's what I'm doing right now. I'm kind of glitching and manipulating the AI. I'll show you that one time. And you know, practice this little mechanic uh, with my user. You know, I'm not even doing anything special. Kind of notice how I'm faking them out at the last second. Um, I'm going straight up ahead and then at the last second they can't recover and Amos is just such a nice user I'm able to just kind of swerve in right there. So that's pretty much strong tight uh, dive I'm gonna run a stretch right now And I'm actually gonna show you how how nice it is to blow up the stretch and boom It's just the same thing like I close this all these stretches are the same and that's the point I'm trying to get across this is a universal run D you just got to learn your gap shoots and you know stand in what spot and even versus dive you're just going to be able to blow it up so there's a couple more runs i want to get by and these type of runs are actually very difficult to stop unless you have this specific setup so if they have any type of eye close slot or two two wide receivers on one side this is what you want to do you want to move this guy down Hall, hallman you could either spy him or put him in a purple i advise a purple and same goes for this side the purples play really nice but you want to stay on the uh, wide receiver side and depending on you know you can't really run to that side to the right so that's why you want that purple there so we're gonna call hike and then you're gonna have to get out there on time and make that tackle and anyways um i'm kind of standing a little too to the left you do not have to stand that far to the left or the right you can stand in the middle versus these type of sets and just make sure you click r3 that's one specific thing you need to do versus these runs um at least when you have purples and stuff out there the spies they'll play it themselves but we're gonna call this play once again and um it, it, we do have numbers there um before if you don't really move those guys out or put them in purples they're kind of get stuck and glitched inside this time if you put them in purples and move them out they're gonna go to the outside they're gonna move to the outside they're gonna move their feet instead of just coming in right here and getting blocked and you, they have the edge they're gonna move to the outside so one thing i'd advise versus these two wide receivers on one side stay in the middle and just play passive with your user rather than just going in there head first as we do and we're able to still get that tackle but yeah that's just one thing to note for you don't really can't you can't really uh shoot a gap uh from each side like this because they could run stretch to the either side so you know purple this guy spy this guy and it goes vice versa if the tight end was on the left i would do this to, i would put savage in the purple but I'm just going to run the play to the right left and show you guys that, you know, everything is pretty much still bottled. Obviously, he was able to get some yards, but if you have that Supreme Tackler, you're going to get that tackle out every time. I'm going to run it one last time for you guys. Savage, move him out, you know, make him a little lateral, and I'm going to run it to the left. And just click R3 in, and boom, he, they end up getting stuck a lot. So that's I close slot. Um, I'm going to show you guys one more run, which probably is the best run. Um, but I'm going to show you how to slow it down. So guys, we're back again with the last setup of the uh, video. And this wing flex close, I will not lie to you, it's a pretty good form to uh, play against. And you could do two things. I've seen people do two things. And myself, I do it both ways. You want to shift your D-line to either side. So um, if they're toting heavy to the right side, you want to shift into the left side. 
and once again you want to put this guy out here in a purple or a spy if they are running like crazy obviously spy hallman as well we'll see what it looks like right now um so flip it to the left side and if you do that the two receivers kind of go inside they kind of don't really pay attention to that safety right there notice how uh number 17 emmanuel sanders decides to pick up a linebacker instead of going for my safety um that's just the mechanic of the game and sometimes they will you just got to make sure you kind of move them out the way and make them cut up field so you want to kind of move them around here you could put them in a purple you know purple is going to be better pasty than a spy a spy is not going to play anything i'll show you what a purple does and then you know the right side if they run to the right i mean they could have that but look how many people are there man you're that's that type of stuff is going to happen a lot it's just like even numbers it's very congested you know they could have that all they want to the right side i'm fine with that the left side definitely looks scary but you got to get there with your user and if you move him out right here I'll, I'll show you guys what it looks like right now if i'm if i keep him where he is i'm gonna run stretch to the left and you know it still may pick it up but boom look you're, you're gonna get a bunch of yards out here and um you gotta move you gotta move him out man otherwise emmanuel sanders or whoever they may have um is gonna pick you up as we see right here the last play he picked up the linebacker this play he picked me up and look you know it's just you gotta run around all these guys even the lineman co might come and get you it's just very difficult if you don't move him out that's a necessity to do so uh, you want to shift your d-line opposite of the wide receivers aka towards the tight end side crash up blitz all linebackers contain move savage out or whoever is on the wide receiver side put him in a purple you know or a spy either one works the spy is obviously going to be better purple better versus the pass and i'll show you guys right now stretch to the left where the, we got two people there and if you got your tackle cams you're going to make that tackle all day long make a nice click on and all that and one thing you guys might have a question about is what if they do motions and all that if they do motions at least versus this formation you want to keep it the same you want to uh keep it pretty much the same versus other formations just man align it always but since this side well i messed it up since this side is you know it's just kind of very sensitive or this formation i should say is you just want to match numbers with numbers and you know if he motions them over you could just man up alexander to him and you know we'll, we'll show you what the look looks like this time you know it's it's even numbers i mean he got he kind of got picked up but um i'm not too sure if i even moved savage out let me see if i even did that play I actually did um let's see what happened oh it's because he was in a purple and i didn't really send him right away but for the most part that's how you bag those stretches um move them out lateral do whatever you want and for the last part of the video i'm just going to show you how to blow up this dive like every other dive you just come in free like here i messed it up but we're still able to get there and make sure your user is on point man so get in practice so do whatever you want to do you got to make sure your user is on point and this doesn't even go for madden 20 it's going to be for years and years and years stopping the run is definitely a big part of the game now um especially after this year so right here come in on that stretch or that dive and you're just i wasn't able to actually make the tackle but we were there to congest and that's what you want to do if you can't make the tackle congest 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 run dive one last time and boom we are able to glitch in right there so that's been it for this video i want to say this has probably been my best video out so far as in tips and just helping you guys out this could be considered a mini scheme and i guess i'll name that but this has been tip tuesday number three please hit that like button subscribe comment what you guys want to see next comment what other series you guys want to see next comment whatever you need help with and i got you just need create it just need some ideas you know to plan my next videos out follow me on my socials at pavin lacotte i'll catch you guys in the next video take care be easy peace out